All right, all right. We got the up angled forward smash. We could have also, Sakurai have explaining the move on lands or do like a, a length joke or like a, a tipper kind of thing, like better mark, something like that. There's the, 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 the Falcon Punch-esque move on the down B with the big axe. We could throw it out randomly, maybe as a shield break punish. Uh, need some Edelgard quotes, maybe a Tom and Jerry sound effect for that. that uh, you will die. die. Mm, ended with that. The the old school ass buildings blowing up, yeah that yeah yeah that sounds good. Gotta land the dare spike a couple times. It looks meaty, so probably a loud sound effect, and then maybe I landed a couple times, and the last one could be like a little baby tap for like a like a misdirection kind of thing. The bow and arrows obviously needs a Call of Duty hit marker. And, mm, what else? What else? Mm, the, we could do uh, annoy people with do it again. five up airs in a row. We could do it again. Do, do it again. Do it again. A couple times. Do it again. Uh, uh, let's see. The spear moves. Spear moves are kind of boring. We got the we got the nair. We got the nair blender. We could we could have Sophus come back and just it's too many nairs. I see too many multi hit nairs. I see. Mm hmm. I think that's about it. I've got like three to five days after they're released to finish the video before they lose relevancy like all the rest. So I've got like one or two days to get all the footage I need. Let's see how I do. <laughs> You could say that they're a distance demon. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm terrible at this game. Alright, I'm going to talk about what I like and hate real fast. Then I'm going to throw in my two cents about the community's reaction to Byleth. Because, wow. Wow, is it something. Now, I love the Fire Emblem franchise. I love Three Houses, and I love Byleth as a character. Probably more than others. I never really was one to do the whole self-insert thing, especially since Corrin was one of the most unrelatable, inhuman characters in the franchise of anime stereotypes. I was always happy to see the characters for what they were, and having Byleth as a silent protagonist like Joker, kind of giving off the similar vibes of this stoic but smug nature, made the character enjoyable and hilarious to watch as she guided her students while barely giving a shit. By the way, I'm talking about female Byleth. I hate male Byleth. He is a boring, ugly, Snape-looking motherfucker with generic clothes. It's awful. I don't care how bad people think the tights on female Byleth are. I think they're fine. I think she's got good outfits in the game. I really like the Officer's Academy uniform with no cape. And I like her skins in Smash. I think the Sophus outfit is phenomenal, especially for what it means for Byleth's character. Gameplay-wise, though, she's... She's, uh... She's... Guys, I don't think she's that good in this game. She is slow. Very slow. She cannot run. She refuses to run. Her fastest moves have just okay ending lag. And nothing really combos well. Her game plan is pressuring people from a distance and punish their response. Which doesn't really work in a game as fast as Smash Ultimate. The axe is all memes and dreams of a delicious shield break for a sick montage video. It's kinda sad how bad she feels, but I find her really fun. It's been really enjoyable to play more reactive and go for the meme reads. I'm not exactly sure why, but it's fun. Byleth honestly feels like a tried and true heavy character compared to how fast the heavies in this game are. It's weird, but I like it. But no one cares that much. Everyone's just kinda angry that a new Fire Emblem character is in Smash again. So let's talk about it. Now I've seen Alpha Red's video on the topic. You've probably seen it already too. He did a great job at summarizing everyone's relative feelings on the subject, and I agree with most of what he said. Except wanting Lin and Smash, because Lin is bleh, and Hector is literally right there. I just wanted to add a few thoughts that I've had on the subject. I get why everyone is upset. The last character for the first DLC pack was probably the least opportune time to unveil Byleth. Smash fans are more tired than ever of Fire Emblem characters being overrepresented. Fire Emblem fans want more interesting characters than a self-insert from a series riddled with hundreds of better characters. No other third-party characters on a long train of new IPs being introduced to Smash with hype building? It was a bit of a mess that turned hype to disappointment. I completely understand and I felt the same. I wanted Dante. I read into the signs and I got my hopes up. That video I made, Shut Up Fuck You, Byleth is in Smash, that was that was for Dante originally. That's why I said Nero and Virgil, but no Dante. I get it. But at the same time, 
how upset can we really be with how much we've already been given? Smash Ultimate has what, like 75 characters at this point? With six more on the way? Characters that span across multiple franchises, with dozen more referenced throughout the arguably less important parts of the game, like stages, cis trophies, so on and so forth. Guys, we got Cloud Strife. We got Terry Bogard. We got Ryu. We got Ken, Mega Man, Pac Man. We got Bayonetta, the coolest character in the game, player game cowards. Beautiful. Guys, we literally got Ridley in the game when Sakurai said himself Ridley wouldn't fit in Smash. We have been given so much, yet people are going online acting like Sakurai just shot up a bunch of random civilians just because he put in a character in the game from a series he really seems to enjoy that people are tired of seeing. I'm not wanting to say the word entitled, but it really feels like it. But who knows, maybe it was just a in the heat of the moment thing. Maybe it was people exaggerating reactions due to the current state of internet culture. People gotta chase that clout. I don't know. In the end, it's really not gonna matter that much because people are going to move on within the next few weeks anyway, just like all the other DLC. So make sure to get your views worth while it's still relevant talking shit about the character. I think when I saw Armada's video pop up analyzing Byleth from the presentation, it kind of just hit me the current state of online media. There's this hyper fixation on the new. New thing, gotta talk about the new thing. People love the new thing. People are gonna watch you if you talk about the new thing. People will always wanna talk about the new thing. You gotta do it, you gotta do it right now while it's relevant. Go, 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 it's new, it's new, now, now. Of course, new things are exciting. People love to talk about new things in the game they like with others. That's kind of how we form our big, ever-growing connection across the world of nerds. I get it. But when I see so many people talking about the character before they are even released, a character that everyone was just ranting and raving about how awful it is a few days ago? A character that probably won't be talked about soon after his release unless he's really good like Joker or janky like Hero, where people are just going to come back and complain. Doesn't it feel a little, I don't know, disingenuous? Like we're in an assembly line of mass-produced content? Because we need to make the thing now because it's new and people want the new now? I don't know, it just doesn't vibe with me, and I can't even say I'm not guilty of doing similar. Most of the shit I talk about is new. Fuck, this is that. This is new now. Because if I don't do it right now, while it's relevant, not as many would watch. Or care. It's kind of just the game we play, because the internet moves fast and we gotta keep up to stay relevant. Nothing wrong with the people playing the game, or even playing the game itself. The state of it just feels off. You know? Eh. Whatever. I like Byleth. I'm glad he, she's here. I think it's funny his answer to too many swordsmen is to rip off his penis and become a girl. Also, if I could be a little bit more of a preachy cunt, I want to say I'm kind of happy that it made so many people upset, because it's funny, and we got memes, and it's penance for putting that stupid fucking skeleton in the game. Fuck all of you, I deserve this for putting meme font skeleton in Smash. Fuck you. I honestly think Fire Emblem is one of the better franchises represented in Smash, and I'm always happy to see more of it. I think it's better than Pokemon, better than Metroid, better than Star Fox and Sonic, a million, billion times better than Zelda. I think it's crazy how many people like that series. That franchise has good music and okay 2D games, and that's it. Eh, but fuck it. That's just my rambling opinions I sit here wondering what to do next. I'll see you guys later. Go drink some water, try not to be so angry all the time. Tell me what you thought, or something like that. A actually, guys, 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 can you do me a favor? Can you go in the comments and call me the worst name slash insult you can think of? Without getting banned, of course. Get creative. Think of something absolutely vile. I want to see what you guys come up with. Alright, have a nice day, y'all. Peace out.